It's just very empty and quiet. The Murdochs have this big house that there is now no one living in. So it only makes sense to take a more modest approach to accommodation. Make yourself at home. Thank you. That's kind of how I feel sometimes. We have this house in the city. My wife owns a marina up north. So in the summer, while I'm doing Murdoch Mysteries, all week long, I come home to this empty house. My dogs aren't even there. Lonely Robin for one again tonight. I'm moving into a rooming house. And the man who rented my rooms before me apparently has disappeared. Inspector Troy comes to us by way of America. He's a very pragmatic man. Sometimes we see intrigue where there is none because we need a distraction from our own thoughts. He greatly admires Detective Murdoch and his methods of investigating and using science. On a personal level, Paul and I have been friends a long time. Something you'll soon learn about me, Inspector, is that I much prefer work to leisure. Then we have something in common. It's a series I've auditioned for many times over the years, and I like to joke that it's only taken me 18 years to get on this show. Hardly a mystery, though. It's like a dream come true. I mean, I keep saying things like that, but I just feel like I'm living in a dream. I don't want to wake up. I'm a newly appointed lawyer for the Crown. We've edged into kind of a cool 1910 law and order territory. I know the case. Well enough to try it? Yes. It was so much fun working with Tommy. We've barely crossed paths in this world at all. Bloody hell. It was cool to play a bit of a who's on top game with him <laughs> throughout the course of that episode. Win the case, Mrs. Crumtree. Because if you don't, then it's on me. Murdoch Mysteries, every Monday at 8 p.m. on Ovation.